All right, so what I'm going to be talking about here is massively, massively, massively hilarious. Now, this whole uh, little bit of a debacle, I'm going to say a little bit, it was just a little bit of a debacle. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny to watch at the time. This was a while ago, by the way. Uh, this happened something like in April. Um, but it's the first time that I've really seen Kyle from Secular Talk get really, really pissed off at his fans. And it was pretty downright hilarious, to be to be quite honest with you. Um, and we'll get into why that was super hilarious, by the way. So here's how this goes. I'm going to set the backdrop for this. So Kyle announces that there's going to be a new logo contest. He's in search for a new logo, and you guys may have heard about this. You guys may have known about this. This is back a while ago, again, somewhere like April around there. And he was, you know, hosting this logo contest because he was in search for a new logo for the show. So he's giving $200 for whoever he finds to be the best logo that he finds. Now, he gave these specific parameters, them being that he wanted uh, this the secular talk colors, which I believe are black and green, and he wanted it to be tribal, a tribal symbol. Now, uh, people did not like this. They actually immediately went to, uh, immediately just decided to uh, completely flame him. Now, I'm going to give you guys some of the, <laughs> on this announcement video where he describes these details i'm gonna let you know what his fans said one of these comments says tribal 1999 called and they want their tattoo style back and another one says kyle wants a tramp stamp as his logo some of these comments are hilarious man um <laughs> another one says wow the new logo will look like a 90s tattoo great idea kyle lol Another one says, Tribal, is this 1997? Um, <laughs> and another, here's another one. Another one says, love you, Kyle, but you have the worst taste in anything design. That's pretty harsh, by the way, really harsh. Profile pictures are always unflattering, weird colors for the backgrounds, and mismatching suit colors. Great politics, awful aesthetics. That's a... Uh, that's a, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. Another one says, Tribal design? Really? Um, another one says, trust me, Kyle, you don't want something that looks like a tribal tattoo for a logo. It's a bad look for a show just in general, not to mention horribly dated. Um, <laughs> one of these was so ridiculously pissed off. It said, or it was more not pissed off. It was like pleading, please, please don't do this. One of them says, Please no tribal logo. Please no tribal logo. Please, please no tribal logo. Please no tribal logo. Try to say that five times fast, by the way. Another one says, tribal? Tribal? Kyle's, please stop to think about what you said. Um, and then a bunch of, you know, there are a bunch of other comments that were just going in on this whole tribal design. Now... This is going to play into where Kyle just absolutely loses it. Now, Kyle Kalinske does these secular talking smack live streams where he does these live streams and he takes super chats in the forms of questions and he answers them. They're pretty fun to watch because he talks about a lot of stuff that we don't get to hear about um, on his main show. So, basically, someone's going to send him a super chat, okay? And they are going to... Basically tell him, like, hey, like, your shirt design is bad or your logo design is bad. You should uh, look into getting second options. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be kind of interesting, so go ahead and check it out. What do you think of Ruben saying he'd vote for Trump over Bernie? Also, vast majority of people don't like your new logo. Maybe get outside opinions. Okay, dude, listen. We did a whole contest. We did a whole contest. There were all these submissions. Now, going into it, everybody knew the deal. I asked for all the submissions, and then I was going to pick the winner. <laughs> so, you know, I know some of you don't like it. I don't... Don't buy the shirt. What do you want me to say? That Don't buy the shirt. I, you can't please everybody. Literally, no matter what one I picked, somebody would be like, I don't like it. So, I can't please everybody. 
Now you could say, well, a disproportionate number of people don't like it, then should. Maybe, you know, 80% of people should like it and only 60% of people like it. Okay. But I, I, I don't know how would I have democratically get, gotten people to choose the logo. And furthermore, listen, I honestly didn't want that because maybe you guys would have picked one I really didn't like. So, you know, it's not... <laughs> I wanted to pick a logo that I liked and I did that. And then I also wanted to pick a simple one that I thought you guys would like. Majority of you liked it. Some of you didn't like it. I, I, you know, don't buy the shirt. I don't know what to say. Don't buy the shirt. But I don't see why, you know, some people have decided to die on this hill and, like, tweet me breathlessly about how shitty my logo is. Okay, so don't buy the fucking shirt. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> it's a fucking logo, man. It's a logo. So um, don't buy the shirt. Fine. Don't like the logo. Fine. But no, I'm not going to... I wasn't going to... First of all, I don't know how I would have people democratically pick my my logo. But furthermore, I don't... Why would I even want people to democratically choose my logo? It's the Secular Talk logo. It's not the Secular Talk audience logo. So... Sorry if I'm all authoritarian about my logo, but you guys know what I like. I told you what I liked. I told you I like more of a tribal symbol. Some of you laughed at that and were like, okay, fine, your shitty tattoo from the early 2000s, uh, but we don't like that. Okay, so you don't like it. Sorry. Make your own logo for yourself. <laughs> this is my logo. So I thought you guys would like the, the secular talk one that's the simple one, but apparently a lot of you didn't like it as much as I thought you would. Sorry. Um, I still love it. So thank you for everybody who does like it. If you don't like it, all I can say is don't buy the shirt. Simple as that. Hi, Kyle. Hope you're doing well. Have you received more subs since being on JRE and Fox? Also, what is the tattoo on your arm? Maybe maybe part of the reason why I'm I'm so triggered by all this is one of one of my tattoos, this is for my dad. He passed away in 2011, and I just like this design. It's a little bit tribal in nature, but it also has the rose in there. And then this one is actually kind of similar to our logo which a lot of you guys don't like. <laughs> so maybe that's why I'm so triggered by everybody who's like, uh, fuck your tribal shit. Like, no, fuck you, man. I like it. That was absolutely hilarious. I've never seen Kyle just totally let loose on his fans. And for anybody who was saying, oh, who would be thinking that, oh, he wasn't mad at his fans or anything like that, or he wasn't exerting anger. I mean, he literally says it right there when he says he's triggered. So... Obviously, it's kind of like a joke thing, but it's pretty hilarious nonetheless. And there was someone who commented on the video acknowledging that, like, hey, this is like the first time Kyle's gotten pissed off at us like this. It <laughs> it was downright hilarious, okay? Kyle and his fans were totally at odds. It was hilarious. And so there was a shirt drive, and I mean, he sold shirts, but he definitely could have sold a lot more. Um, I think that what Kyle should have done was, is he should have made like some big seltzer shirts. I probably would have gotten one of those. I'm sure a lot of you guys would have gotten them too. Like he probably could have sold like a thousand shirts of big seltzer sellout shirts. Those would have been hilarious. Um, but <laughs> did you guys know he had tattoos until then? Like I found out then I didn't know he had tattoos before that anyways. So when he announced that he chose you know the logos that he chose in the shirt drive that he had pretty much all of the comments on the video are in unison they are in total agreement unanimous decision that these these logos that he has chosen are bad those are uh you know the <laughs> the consensus man here's one of the comments on the video on the unveiling video it says the second one looks like a pamphlet for a gay nightclub <laughs> That one made me laugh really fucking hard. Another one says, oh no, it looks like a tribal tattoo and an energy drink had a baby. Um, uh, another one says, Kyle went out of his way to pick the worst ones. Um, and then another one says, this one's a little bit of a longer comment. It says, Kyle, I think you've got the best content and analytical perspective of all the progressive media I watch on YouTube, but aesthetics isn't your strong point. These graphics in that tribal logo don't look professional or arguably even presentable. Uh, you should hire a graphic designer. Uh, also, I still think your set was way better before adding the neon sign. That's a little bit different. Another one says, looks so unprofessional. This one, this one seemed like a kind of an angry comment of like, what? It says, what the fuck, Kyle? 
You're not a tattoo shop or part of a metal band. You're a political commentator. You should have gone with something less that's uh less that's less spiky. Your logo looks like something Monster Energy Drink would have gone with. Um and all a bunch of other ones that are here too. Um <laughs> Okay, one of them says, "This is just heartbreaking watching him pick an 8th grade notebook art logo." All right, bro. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious, man. These comments are pretty hilarious. And I got to say that uh like the design, yeah, it kind of does look like something that Monster or, like, Rockstar or one of the energy drink companies would design as their logo. It kind of does seem like that. And, you know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think he definitely could have chose uh, better designs to sell more shirts, for sure. Like, I definitely, you know, was expecting a big seltzer shirt. And, you know, generally speaking, anytime you have merchandise, merchandise is really supposed to be unique to said person. And so, you know, most unique thing about Kyle is definitely the whole big seltzer meme. So I was very surprised that that wasn't made as a shirt. Honestly, that was kind of crazy. I was really surprised at that. And he decided instead to use this tribal logo um, as the design. And it still sold shirts, but definitely did not meet what it could have, which is in selling all of his shirts. But I've genuinely never seen Kyle get that pissed off at his own fan base my entire life. Um, <laughs> it's so, it's really hilarious to watch because watching him just lose it uh, with people who are just tired of his logo. And I, I'm, this is insane because his entire audience, every single person, if you go through these comment sections on his videos about the logo, it is unanimous. There's not, there's not even a small contingency. I can't find anybody who was like, yeah, tribal logo, yeah. Um, and the tattoo, um, I think that that's why he's uh, a big defender of the tribal design is because he has it tattooed. Um, it, the tattoo looks like something like a, someone in a biker gang would get. I was like, huh? <laughs> Anyways, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting to say the least. So <laughs> another one says, I think both choices are awful. Sorry, the first one looks like a 13-year-old edgelord made it in 1997, and the second one looks like something thrown together at the last minute before a deadline. This is insane. It's insane. And so, obviously, Kyle can choose his own logo, but, um, you know, if you're, you know, says not to buy the shirts. I think that the logo definitely could have been better. I think that the shirt designs definitely could have been better. But this was truly a moment in secular talk history to remember, one that we shall never forget, because it was the time that Kyle Kalinske lost it on his own fans. 